YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about everything that is wrong with my car or anything that I want to do and make changes. Um, so yeah, before we go ahead, can you please just give the, give the video a like um, and subscribe so you can see more videos like it. Um, the whole idea behind um, these videos on my channel is so that I can basically show you the build of my car um, and the progress that is being made but I will also be getting other cars on the channel that are basically 90s and noughties cars so one of the things I want to talk about on this car is the roll cage and the, the door bar that goes down here now it's an absolute nightmare to get in and out of um, so I want to move it from there down to here give it a little bit more access in and out. I would just get rid of it, but it actually gives a hell of a lot more safety on track um, if you get a side hit. So ideally I don't want to remove it, I want to actually make, keep it there, but make it easier for myself to get in and out of. Um, so hopefully, move it from up, down, from up here, down here, and hopefully we can get in and out there. One of the other things that will make it easy for me to get in and out of the car is if I buy a snap-on steering wheel. If I have a quick release steering wheel, I can take it off when I get out of the car, take it in with me, that way I can go to sleep with my steering wheel in my bed. That's a joke by the way. And then when I get in, it gives me a little bit more room between the bar and the steering wheel to get in and out. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how we how awkward it is to get in and out in just a second um, then that way you guys can actually see what my issue is and then if you've got any solutions please let me know so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in and out and show you guys at home just how bad it is to get in and out of this car now That's me in, which don't look too bad, right? Getting out is the issue. Well, it's not really an issue. It's not too bad, but it is quite awkward, which I'll show you now. I'm sure there's an easier way of getting in and out, but that's probably the easiest way that I've found at the moment but I might just be a retard. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is swapping out these wheels, which are 14 inch, and putting some 15 inch wheels on, um, either Team Dynamics or OZs, um, because I mean, these are good for track. I use them and keep them for track. Um, but yeah, I want some Team Dynamics or OZ in gunmetal grey. Um, now, the other big thing with the um, Saxo VTR that needs doing is the bodywork. Now, yes, it's a track car, um, it's a road legal track car, but I personally like to turn up that track and have something that looks pretty decent. Um, also, when you're driving on the road, the car this age which is just going to end up going up in value, um, you kind of want it still look nice um, so yeah I will now show you around the car and show you the bodywork clips that need putting back on the bits of trim that need to be um, glued back on the sunroof which has been um, plated over needs to be painted because that's currently silver there's a hole where the aerial delete has been done um, so when it rains or when it gets washed the water gets in there so that needs to be covered up um, just general things like that basically, a good machine polish and um, what not should make the car look a lot better. So yeah, let me just show you around there and you know, you can see it yourself.
The other thing I want to do is wide mouth the front end, which means getting rid of all the middle bits here so that the radiator becomes exposed and then I will do a twin fan conversion so you'll see one fan there, one fan there um, I just think that would look much better, much more aggressive and with the morettes in will look really really good on track it's underneath these headlights because I had the morettes in um, which are not very good for driving at night I've had to put the standard headlights back in but instead of, I've got blacked out ones in front and then it's missing the little strip just underneath here which um, which you'll be able to see in a second so that so basically now that I've gone through the exterior the roll cage the wheels um, I'll do a little bit more on the interior in a second. Um, I now want to just take my attention to the engine. So basically what I want to do with the engine is relocate the air filter because it's currently got a air filter that looks about 12 years old, um, which is good enough, you know, it was good enough to go on track, but where it was sat since 2017 and only been put on track until I bought it early this year, uh, the old filter, the old air filter now just looks worn and needs replacing. It's also right next to the manifold, so it's getting hot air, um, which isn't exactly good. So what I want to do is kind of get it better flowing cold air, which will happen better once I get the morettes in because I'll put a cold feed through the empty hole in the morettes. Um, it's got a 4 to 1 manifold with a straight through exhaust with a bat box um, so I won't change that it just needs the hangers um, stiffened up because it's got a little bit of play in it um, and then basically I want to either I'll probably get a fast road cam um, but then I'm I'm in two minds whether or not to try and turbo it or supercharge it. Um, both have their perks. Supercharger sounds gorgeous. Um, but turbo is where you get your power. Um, you know, and a turbo can take it up to, I think, a fully forged engine on a VTR with the right turbo, the right tuning, can take it up to 220 brake horsepower. Now, in a car that weighs well 920 from standard kilograms um, that one probably now only weighs about 850 kilograms so in a car that weighs 850 kilograms 204 220 brake horsepower sorry with a fully forged turboed engine is a pretty big power to weight um, it, I think it's roughly around about 250 brake per ton I could be a little bit wrong with the maths um, but yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. So let's go and have a look underneath the box. So basically, as I was saying, the air filter, if you have a look, just looks really old, run down. It's so close to the um, manifold. So I need to, basically, I want to get more of a hard pipe and then try and locate the filter a little bit better and then bring a cold feed through here and then on my morettes there'll be an empty light there which I'll put the um, cold air through. The manifold, as you can see, it's a 4 to 1 one, it's quite a nice one, so that's quite good. Um, and basically it just needs a good tidy up in the engine, which will so get the done. other thing I need to do, which I find quite funny, is basically I need to replace the battery um, and then also make it a little bit more secure because it's currently got brake pads in wedged in there to keep that a bit secure so I'll also change that. So firstly let's have a look right so the dash there is no dash um, now I quite I quite like the fact that there's no dash now not everyone does um, so I'm I'm in an hour in about whether or not I should put a half a dash in over the steering wheel and then put the clock back to where the steering wheel goes um, back 
put the clock back behind the steering wheel as standard um, and then basically in the center where the clocks are now um, move the heating controls up bring the header switch basically on a little metal plate in here um, then the header switch and the rear um, heated screen can go in the um, in the board and then just above that I'm thinking about putting a stereo in because it's let's say on a long journey it's um, it's good to listen to your own car you know I like the sound of a car but it's also good to have a stereo so yeah that's what I'm thinking of doing with the dash um, and then basically I'm gonna be tidying up all these wires um, so they're gonna be hidden um, so, so then they'll be all taped up not be able to see them the door cards as you can see is currently bare now I've currently got a mate of mine um, kit who he's currently going to be making me a 1.5 mil um, aluminium sheet door cards to go on both front doors um, the rear quarters which are currently just holes and across the boot where the boot plastic's gone um, so that will look a lot better um, I'll then get some um, straps to bolt onto the doors so we can close them a lot easier and uh, so yeah that's the front dash and doors now with the seats I quite like them um, I do like them but I'm not sure about the blue um, so I'm thinking black seats or maybe stick with the blue but get something a little bit better a little bit more comfort now the Sparco um, Sparco 4 which are actually pretty good um, I quite like them um, so I will keep the harnesses but I'm just not sure about the seats um, so let me know what you guys think let me let me know whether or not I should change the seats or keep them or get something blue but a different thing now the roll cage that I'm gonna paint but I don't know what color to paint it so again if you've got any ideas give me a shout because I'm open to ideas on what color do the roll cage now I'll go to the back and I'll show you the back which is basically a little bit more plain now in the back as you can see there is literally nothing so it's a four point harness on both drivers and um, passenger seat then there is nothing on the floor so I will be yeah so there is nothing on the floor so I will be carpeting from I'll be carpeting from front to back with some black four stretch um, carpet and then basically yeah put some put some speakers in it and yeah she's um, golden I mean let's see I'm what I leave the video there um, so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time